bromo then we have pentane but this is not going to be correct hi guys if you're sitting for jam 2025 this video is for you how can we name this compound it's simple this way you're seeing this structure is in its condensed form which it should be very easier for you to name it the way it is but if you will be confused like this it is very very okay if you can expand it how do you expand it now look at this carbon atom it has about three hydrogen atom attached to it and then it is bonded to this other carbon atoms with three oh, sorry two hydrogen connected also or bonded to this one in this case we're having an hydrogen atom then we have a substituent uh, which is bromine this is bromine right okay and this bromine comes from the halogen family and in halogen family we have the likes of iodine we have the like of fluorine we have also chlorine like we i think we have chlorine here and also bromine so this is also connected to c we have single hydrogen atoms and then we have chlorine over here connected to another one which has two hydrogens and then we have a chlorine atom there okay this is the same structure as this all right they are the same only that this is in its condensed form i just expanded it so if you're comfortable like this then let's name this compound the first rule in naming organic compound is that you need to make sure to count the continuous carbon chain the longest continuous carbon chain and in this case if you start from here this is the first carbon second carbon third carbon fourth carbon fifth carbon if you want to go to this to confirm if you're correct this is the first carbon second third fourth fifth all right now the longest continuous carbon chain we have so far is what five carbons which is pent pent is associated with pent even if you've done some basis of mathematics you've done polygon then you know that when you have five that is pentagon the same way in organic chemistry when you have five that is pent depending if you're talking about alkane then it's pentane if it's alkane, alkane that is pentene is our kind that is pentine all right all right so now in this case we're having single bond everywhere so that means it is coming from the family of alkane one of the specific or uh, one one of the uh, general characteristics of alkane is that it consists of single bond isn't it so we have since it is alkane it has the last the suffix which is in so you have to attach it to this root word so we have pentane so that is for the longest continuous carbon chain now we have also this uh, this functional group one we have this chlorine in the first position of this carbon we should have started on this particular part but if you start from this particular position you get to number three before you have this number four number five and that will be much further i think that's the second rule you need to start from where you have the substituent or the functional group so at this point we have this functional group uh, chlorine situated on the first carbon so we have one that's because it is first carbon so when you move further that's one two on the second carbon that's one two we have another one so when we have two like that this is another a separate stuff so i'm not going to include this for now so let's conclude on this because we have first second that becomes one two and because it is two it becomes die if you have to be three numbers we have here maybe seven as one two or there are about three different numbers then we would have gotten here to be tri but in this case it is just two so we have di di what what we have here is chlorine so we have it as chloro di chloro okay we are done with that the next one is this so let's keep counting you don't want to start over here because when you start here you have to finish up does that make sense so we have one two three on the third carbon we have bromine so we have three bromo so it is time for us to put everything together ideally since we started with this we should have we should have gotten this to be one two dichloro 
then we have uh, three, we have three bromo, then we have pentane. But this is not going to be correct. Why is it not correct? It's because alphabetically, B comes before C. So because of that, this will come before this. So then we have a name to become 3 bromo. What will be the next? 1, 2, dichloro. Then we have this last one, which is what? Pentane. And this is a name for this compound. I hope you simplified and I hope you found this helpful. Consider to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell or the bell icon so by the time I upload a new video, you receive notification. And then if you are a new person on this channel, that's what you need to do. If you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate you for coming. Thank you for watching and please make sure to share this video and like this video. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.